Don't link is your boy Ink Welcome to the Real Welcome to the Show on this 13th September, 13th September, 6 30 in the morning uh, video. Uh, this video today is thanking YouTube, thanking TikTok, thanking Twitch, thanking Instagram, thanking Facebook, thanking Snapchat, thanking Musically, thanking, thanking uh, Spotify, thanking a lot of people because um, and I didn't I did mention it before uh, yesterday. Um, yesterday uh, the 11th. Uh, we mentioned a video the 12 about the 11. I'm fucking tired, bro. I've been up for 16 hours and been working a lot today. Working a shit ton today. Uh, <laughs> and so that video, uh, you see how tired I am? I don't even know what I was saying. Yes. Uh, so I took a day off because one of my content creators, my favorite content creator said, Hey, I'm going to be streaming the whole day. It's my birthday. Like, okay, well, I need a day off anyway, so let's take this day off. And the guy wasn't there, so I went on YouTube and looked for uh, Quebec um, content because I was nostalgic. I was wanting Quebec content. I was supposed to, to listen to Quebec content the whole day. Let's keep that promise up. So here I am, rocking like a hurricane, um, watching this. And I found an episode, a show that I used to watch as a kid, which is If I'm in Trouble. Which is two shows, right? And uh, that shows, I remember them. Am I gonna watch them? No, they're, they're kids' show. Come on. However, I found them on YouTube, right? And uh, it, it's kind of cool because I want to thank the the social media for maintaining the maintaining the information, maintaining archiving arc. I don't know if you can say that. Uh, making an archive of the content. See, um, even if nobody cares. My, my, I, I said yesterday, and I said that yesterday, and I, I don't remember the name of the video, but I was like, the biggest crime in humanity is burning books, because you're burning knowledge, you're losing that knowledge with YouTube, uh, with other social media, you're keeping that knowledge, right? Now, those videos can be taken off, those videos can be uh, changed, there's always this control of information that is very scary, but who's going to change this show? And it's not so much that there's demand for it, it's not so much that there's, this show exists. It existed. It it was nostalgic for me. It was nostalgic for a lot of people. And uh, the guy uploaded the, the first episode. You want to see if the show is good, right? Check the first episode. Okay. Check the number number of views. Check the number tenth episode, right? The better the show is, the more similar those two numbers are. Uh, the less similar there is, the more people stop listening to it. There's there's never gonna be a a time where people watch more the 17th episode than the first one never gonna happen and uh, there's not a demand for the show but now that we have that and then I have to talk about the second opinion which is copyright um, copyright is I mean as a content creator I understand it because I don't want people to steal my content of course I do put in a lot of hours for that so I don't think it's worth stealing too uh, but it's just the principle of don't steal because I don't steal and if you don't steal, uh, then everybody has their own thing and they're not afraid of losing their own thing. There's this kind of creator called Only JS, and she's been in so much trouble for content thief, right? And at the end of the day, um, that's, a lot of people don't respect that. So copyright does exist for a certain reason, which is that reason. However, when copyright infringe upon the, upon the fact that those show exists, those songs existed, those albums existed, those memories existed. When that copyright infringes that, when the copyright pushes you to say, no, I can't watch this, I can't upload this because it's copyright, it does, it does kill a little bit. Now, understanding what I mean is very hard, because I'm tired, and I don't make a lot of sense. It never makes sense, so I get used to it. Um, understand what I'm trying to say is, I'm about to go at my mom's place. Uh, she, her, her job is looking for people. I want to get hired because I feel bad for her. She's working a lot and she's old. Sorry, mom, you're old as shit. Um, and uh, I want to stream, but I realize that my, I don't, I'm not going to bring my PS4. And my computer is not good enough for the Switch. So I'm going to be streaming some old games. And there's always this copyright system that is uh, something I'm afraid of. And um, because I'm afraid of that system, like shit, what am I supposed to do, you know? But at the same time, I uh, 
those games are 20, 25 years old, so it shouldn't be a copyright strike. I, if I would say the same thing about a game that is a month or two months old, no, of course not. Uh. <laughs> would I say something about some, a game that is 10 years old? Yes. I think copyright doesn't... There's a period of limitation on copyright. See, when you own a piece of content, there are so many companies that refuse to take out the shows, refuse to put it on the net, to refuse to do, do it. And the company is going to close. There's, it's kind of nice because there's a lot of, um, of publishing houses that close, and people are going into the archive, and they're going in the archive, and they're, they're finding VHS, finding DVDs, they're finding Blu-rays, they're finding whatever the fuck it's called nowadays. Um, and it's like, yo, this is lost content. And I just applaud that. I just applaud it so much. Anywho, love you guys. Take it easy. Peace. Like a good send of the, the hunk. <laughs>